Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to this webinar, this web event, where we look at this really deep and really important question of, can we grow together? We certainly live in a time where this is a really important question. So if you are not familiar with my work or just getting to know me, hello, I'm Sarah Poet. I really take a stand that we get to live into the truth of who we are and that we get to love and be loved from this very authentic space, our own truth. How do we meet each other in that truth? And so often in love relationships, we want to hide parts of ourselves so that we're further accepted. Um, if you're wanting to grow together, you're wanting to come into more of an authentic truth space with one another, which is really beautiful. And I really believe that that's possible. I really believe in the evolution of conscious relationships. That's where I live. That's where I work. I see it happen. I know it can happen. And I'm here to just really be an advocate and a guide for that. So happy Valentine's week. It is this holiday of romantic love. I have my little pink earrings in from my son. Uh, yesterday when we were giving each other compliments, he told me that he really liked the earrings that I choose to wear. And so today I chose to wear the pink earrings that he gave to me because it's love week. So here we are and we celebrate love this week. And I remember um, when I was married and Valentine's Day would come around, we would kind of halt the, um, you know, congestion in our relationship and there would be flowers, but there wouldn't be flowers any other time of the year. And then we'd do something as a couple or as a family. And it wasn't, it was, it was disingenuous. And so um, the holiday just, again, I speak truth. So there's some sweetness about it. And it also carries in our culture, this, romanticism of love that doesn't quite uphold um, often the rest of the time. And so we are talking about another kind of love here. We're talking about relationships as growth opportunities, okay? I really want to stress that this is not a scary thing. So um, oftentimes in relationships, one person is encouraging the other to grow and the other person who's being encouraged to grow or encouraged to grow together might be saying, oh shit, what is this going to mean for me? And what's it going to mean for our relationship? You know, I've heard people who have ended up coaching with me and my couples coaching, they have said, um, you know, therapy is like the death of a relationship. They just assume that once you start going to therapy, that means the end. So we've got a lot of stigma around doing, you know, quote unquote work on our relationships as a bad thing. And so what we're going to have to do is actually deconstruct some of that. And we'll begin that in this webinar, but ultimately uh, that work is yours to do and let me know how I can help. But how we, when we begin to embrace relationship as growth opportunity, it actually decreases that negative stigma um, and really allows space for a mutual evolution that is actually really, really beautiful. And if you can, can get over it being a scary thing initially to wanna do work on your relationship, then it actually provides you with the relationship that you want, okay? So the, what did I type? The, this is not actually the reason for relationship. Um, it's what we want. Okay, so I think what I was talking about is <laughs> when I made this slide was that romantic love is not actually the reason that we want relationship ultimately. So um, let's look at the next slide because I think I have, yeah. The old model of romantic relationship has a lot of performance implication in it. So when we get together in romantic 
relationship. Um, there is a period of splendor in the beginning and you think, can I spend the rest of my life with this person? Okay. Yes, I can. And then, you know, we've been conditioned in a society where, um, relationships have meant, uh, marriage. Okay. Then, you know, jobs and house and children and many of us and the population finds themselves going, well, that wasn't the recipe for true love or for relationship success. Um, and then there starts to be this like, well, are you even my person? Do you show up for me? Do you even want the things that I want? And oftentimes it's in this model where we start to see the breakdown of relationship and the massive divorce rate and all of that, because if it's based on performance or based on romantic love that just couldn't possibly last like that, then you will find yourself in a level of dissatisfaction that potentially you decide to deal with or potentially it leads to the end of your relationship. Um, and I want to speak to the immense amount of pressure in a performance-based um, interaction with life, right? Let me see if I can go backwards on my slides. Yeah. So that's not the reason for a relationship. That's not um, what we want. What we want is relationship as growth opportunity. What we want is actually a soul level relationship. And what a lot of people don't understand <laughs> is that you might already be in a soul level of relationship, but what relationship really is, is looking um, to the other person as a mirror and um, looking at what's arising in the relationship and looking what's arising as an emotion or reaction or something within you, um, something unpleasant. The, the most unpleasant things become our greatest teachers in this kind of relating. So can we grow together? Yes, we can have this new model of conscious relating. We have to learn about it and consciously come together about it, but yes, we can. And in this new model of conscious relating, we have increased connection, authenticity, intimacy, fun, purpose, like even soul purpose, life purpose, upheld by the relationship, a deep appreciation, um, and a deep value recognition, a deep, deep respect for one another. And so um, if you are in a relationship, well, I'm going to be talking about five ways that you can tell, mm, can we grow together um, in just a moment? But, you know, if there is a desire to to grow together or to, to explore this conscious relating. I'll, <laughs> if you want the things in this list, you know, I'll encourage you to stick around because it's actually not as hard and it's not as arduous as you might imagine in an old school performance therapy based model. This is not that. The reason that I chose this photo, I love this photo, it's just a stock image, but there's skin um, we do a lot of breathing together and just being together without, you know, jumping to the next step of intimacy. Um, they're touching forehead. So there's this um, implied spiritual component or deeper connection, like third eye to third eye. Um, their eyes are closed. They're feeling one another, you know, and they're just, they're, they're present together. And so, um, yeah, I, I love that photo. So today I'm going to talk about five points of reflection uh, to the question, can we grow together? You all signed up for a webinar, can we grow together? So I'm just gonna offer five points of reflection for you and your partner. By no means am I saying, this is five criteria and if you say no to one or two of them, you're doomed or anything like that. It's just like a little bit of a litmus test um, as to where you are. And if you want to talk further about where you are in your relationship, you can always reach out to me, always, always, and stick around to the end because I'm going to be telling you about a new and much more affordable way to actually um, work with me to get some of these needs met and to start growing together. So I want to 
encourage you to pay attention to your yes or your no answer to this. And if you're doing this with your partner, great. I will also say that if you are not partnered right now, but you are doing your work in, in your own ability to consciously relate um, in the future or to yourself, like kudos to you. You do not have to be in, in a relationship right now to be learning these things. Of course, we evolve um, when we are not in a relationship also actually something wants to be said about that. Oftentimes, and I really repeated this pattern, I would be single for a while and learn and learn and then go into relationship and expect to be able to just show up or perform at that level. And it wasn't actually a conscious growth relationship, um, a, a mutual growth relationship. Like I was doing my own learning and always very willing to do my own learning. But, and I think that's really common. That's we, we do kind of do our learning in private or our growth in private. And then we come together in relationship and we're, we just like expect ourselves to show up and, and be put together. And so um, this is an alternative to that. It's really, really beautiful to grow with someone. Um, and I, I encourage you all to try little pieces of this. Okay, so pay attention to your yes or no. Okay. Can we grow together? Indicator number one, do you want to grow together? Do you want to grow together? And I am, again, I'm not saying, I'm not in your situation right now um, to know personally if, if one person is not wanting to grow in your relationship, are you absolutely doomed? I would have no idea, okay? I think your intuition knows much, much better than I would know. Um, this is not to say that people don't change their minds. This is not to say that if it's not an arduous performance failure-based model, if people can't be encouraged, right? So I know that some people who were looking at this webinar were saying, well, I don't know if my partner would do this with me. Hopefully by the time, this is why I have my little video on here so that you can see my face so that you know who I am, you hear my voice, and you might think, that lady's really not that bad. It doesn't seem like that much arduous work. I can just show up as I am. Yes, that's, it's, I really want to normalize that. So if your partner is reluctant, but you all still have a desire to stay together, maybe that's what it should really read. Like, do you want to stay together? And if the answer to that is yes, then that's the foundation of whether or not you can grow together. Um, so do you want to grow together slash do you want to stay together? And um, even if the answer is an I don't know, then doing a deeper investigation into the work that I provide will give you your answer. I mean, people arrive really authentically at their answer. Maybe you can't grow together and maybe that is exactly the sole contract that you and this person have signed up for. Maybe you are finished growing together and that's okay too. Absolutely. Okay, number two, are you willing to look at and change patterns? So this is like an, are you willing to? You might not know how to, that's okay, I know how to. Are you willing to look at it, okay? Are you willing to look at and change patterns? And the way I work with this is actually to work in the energetics and the behavioral realm, okay? So oftentimes when we're in relationship, we wanna know why somebody's doing this, or go to therapy and talk about what like so-and-so's mother did. That's really important work, very important work, um, and one avenue. And oftentimes what did happen in our relationships with our mother and father greatly, greatly impacts how we show up in our relationships to our significant other because those are our primary bonds. Um, However, you don't have to know all of the reasons why you do what you do in your mind. Um, what you do have to be willing to do is to look at the pattern of how it's playing out in the relationship and tweak behaviors in order to tweak patterns. And oftentimes, you know, I tell people, you know, it only requires one member of the partnership to change the energetic patterns, so to change the behavior and change the pattern. And, um, you know, if there's a mutual willingness, like oftentimes the, 
the pattern will actually correct itself. It does not have to be as long and arduous and um, emotionally taxing as we've made it in the past. So I'm encouraging you to not maybe go into a story about like, well, it would be too hard to change your patterns or anything like that. It might be really, really possible um, the way I approach it, which is not a, a figuring out approach so much as a change patterns approach, okay? So number three, are you willing to apologize and forgive? So, so many times when something from our past is carried forward, forward into our relationship, which happens for all of us, so many times when that happens, um, we have a wound that we are protecting because it, it hurt when we got the wound, it hurts to deal with the wound. And so we are really, really reluctant to apologize and forgive and move on. And so we like, we just hold the tension. And in a conscious relationship, one that wants mutual growth, both people can, can really come into the ability, yes, but also really pure willingness to apologize um, when, you have reacted or said something unfair and it doesn't have to be a guilt and shame thing. It's really just a, Oh my gosh, I love this person. And I really truly am sorry. Uh, I know that I was not willing to apologize. Um, and my marriage, for example, um, and I've been divorced for six years, um, and we, we co-parent a beautiful child together and things like that. And so, um, we're in a friendship relationship right now. So this is not to, to bad mouth that relationship at all. I'm just referencing it. Uh, but, but I know that I was not able to apologize when I was in that relationship because I was still um, fighting, you know, fighting for, to be right, fighting to um, have my needs met. So, but apologizing actually feels really delicious and, and really diffuses a lot of the tension. And you want that, you want less tension. So going along with that, number four is, are you willing to let it be about you? And this, I'm posing this question. It sounds, it sounds different as a question, but are you willing to let it be about you? Are you willing to look at and say, what is my part in this pattern? Um, what are my notices in this moment, in breath, in body, um, what is coming up for me? And so the way I teach, I really teach a, a body breath based consciousness um, modality where you are noticing what is going on inside of you and learning to bring that to your partner in a safe way. You're also learning to safely receive from your partner. So you need to let it be about you in order to make these notices about you. Um, you also need to be willing to be wrong. Um, so many times, so many times, women, we do get a reputation as being nags, like for a reason. Uh, sometimes we are. Um, you know, we think we know something about our partner. It's definitely not always women, but we make it about them. Like we make the problem that we see about them. We make the, um, the issue at hand about the other person. And I'm saying that's a lot of blame and I don't even care if you're right. We're just not going to do that here. Okay. So you let your own experience be about you and, um, the, your partner's doing the same. And then you come together in that basis, which is different right so in romantic love it would be like all about the other person showing up and showing up perfectly and and then if that person's not showing up perfectly in the way that just meets our needs then then we're like but you're doing this wrong and you're doing this wrong and you're doing this wrong and that is absolutely not 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 going to sustain it's not conscious uh behavior and we should stop that <laughs> quite frankly so number five um and of course, there are more than five. Of course, there are. But these are the ones that really arose um, 
for this webinar and for this point in time in our collective and our history. So are you willing to get real about stress, about trauma, about fight, flight, freeze, and to really acknowledge that these things play a part in your relationship? So I don't think that we're really having this conversation as a society in a way that we really need to. And I do believe that our stress, our previous traumas from past relationships, including that of our um, primary families, fathers, mothers, um, and our tendency to go into fight flight is actually, um, it, it is so present in romantic and love relationships. It is so present in every single one of our relationships because we are humans with nervous systems and pasts. And so if you come with a compassion for the nervous system, a compassion for the amount of stress that you're carrying, a compassion for what has happened, then you don't need to go to therapy, for example, and figure out what happened in, as far as a story, because even understanding the story of what happened in your past is not necessarily going to bring you into peace with the story or um, it's not going to heal the story. So in my coaching that I do with couples, I actually teach uh, breath and body-based awareness, like I said, and I teach you how to presence for one another so that when the trauma reactions, I know that trauma is not a sexy word. And I talk about relationships and I talk about trauma and I do it hand in hand because we all have a past. We all have a past and we're all carrying some fight or flight tendencies in our body, if not a lot of fight or flight tendencies in our body. And that might be because of a trauma and that might be because the modern world is stressful, right? But how you bring that awareness safely to your relationship and safely to your union is absolutely paramount. Because if your partner has experienced something stressful or traumatic in their life and they're showing up in a way and, and what's happening is that they're getting triggered because love is sometimes scary and commitment scary and all those things. Uh, sometimes even like sex is scary. I'm going to name that a lot of times for people, sex is scary. And so you're coming into this place and you're like, what's wrong with them? Um, you know, I want them to be more available to me. Why aren't they able to show up differently? Well, there's something behind it that's stuck and you can create space in your relationship for that to heal. And that is one of the biggest, biggest blessings of the work that I get to do with people is that I teach you to um, hold space for one another's healing. So yes to that, right? Okay, so let's check and see where you are with this. Did you answer yes? Did you answer yes to those five things or most of them? Or did you get some maybes, you know? Um, so I want to tell you about something that is coming up. So if you answered yes to those, but, but you are experiencing the tension I talked about or the performance pressure that I talked about, maybe you're experiencing a disconnect because you've been together for a long time and you want to rekindle because you want some more of that intimacy. You want to feel a little bit more, you know, traditionally romantic. Um, I love the date that I'm starting this, but, um, so it's 220 on, on 2020. February 20th, we are going to embark as a group in an e course that is being created right now. So, in the past, I've worked with couples just one on one, and then I do some local in person groups and things like that. Um, and I work with people for 12 weeks, and we do a really deep dive, and I teach them conscious relating still very, very willing to do that. And I wanted to make a more affordable option for folks. And so that's what I'm launching. And it's the foundations of conscious relating. So it's essentially the first portion of my private coaching, and I'm putting it into an e-course. Okay, so here's what's included in the foundations course. Weekly units in the foundations of conscious relating and it's self-paced. So the reason that we're all starting on the 20th, I'll go into that. There, there are group benefits just this time, like just, just this time. In the future, it will be available, but um, we won't do it as a group. You won't get the interaction and there won't be the bonuses. 
Um, so there's weekly units and we'll go six units and we'll, they'll release one at a time. So there's always a video with teaching and instructions from me on these principles of conscious relating. Then there's home play. I call it home play and not homework because it gets to be fun. And there are also guided meditations for you to do as a couple. I'm really excited about these. And uh, less talking, more being, right? And this deep dive that I've been referencing in this webinar will be made more clear. The path will be, you will be laying foundations for conscious relating um, by doing this six week series. So here are the table of contents for the series so that you know what you're getting into. Curiosity for the win. This is about going into non-judgment, you know, that point about making it about you. Um, Number two, it's not what you analyze, it's what you notice. So I'll be teaching you mindfulness-based practices. I'll be teaching the foundations of noticing that I teach. And so even if you have a meditation practice, great if you have a meditation practice actually, I want you to practice the foundations of noticing that I teach for conscious relating um, in order to practice with your partner in the way that I describe for, for you too. Chapter three will be about communication and elevating communication. So I, I mean, can we grow together is the thing I hear all the time from couples. Also what I hear is we have a communication problem. I'm pretty sure that most uh, probably you don't have a communication problem as much as you have a problem uh, based on everything I've talked about in this webinar, uh, an old model of relationship. Um, if you are satisfied with that old model of relationship, you don't need to be here, but you probably still wouldn't be listening if you were satisfied with that. So we're, we are quite literally updating what relationship means on this planet. So if you know me or if you don't, I will say that I always go micro, macro, micro, macro. And um, so I'm studying what's happening as even as closely, closely as breath and body and how we're presencing with one another. And then I'm studying what's happening in our culture and collective and energetically and all of those things. And I'm kind of bringing it together. So part, this is a little philosophy right here in the middle of the table of contents, but our world actually requires us to elevate our notion of relationships at this time. And I know that you all are feeling that pressure. And I absolutely believe that bringing forward our understanding of relationships and elevating our relationships to conscious relationships actually has ripple effects. I have chills right now in our children, in our work, in our soul purpose, how we walk around the planet, how, how much fight or flight we have in our body, how much stress we carry. I mean, we can change our lives by elevating our relationship. Um, so I'll teach you communication elevated. Bringing it back. Uh, chapter four will ha be how to talk about your needs and be heard. It's bigger than that, but um, if we're talking about coming into our truth, we also want to ensure that we can be held and heard and all parts of us accepted. In the work that I do, I find natural increases in compassion, forgiveness, um, acceptance, love, intimacy, connection, right? These are the things that we want. Um, chapter five will be about that stubborn past trauma and recognizing some more of those fight or flight tendencies and how to be there with one another through that. And then um, chapter six will be just talking about the consciousness and the mutual growth as a way of life, sort of setting you on your way, um, formulating some intentions as a, as a partnership. And then if you want to work with me after that, there will be an opportunity to work for me with me for way less money than usual um, because you have already completed the foundations course. So just this once, there are enrollment bonuses. So stick with me while I describe this. So there are three live Q&A calls as we move through this together. So everyone who starts on February 20th will get three links to live Q&A calls with live coaching with me. Um, 
the comments in the live course will be active and I will be active in the course. Um, you can ask any question and I'll give you feedback there. There's uh, recommendations, you know, ask questions about the content, uh, share your experiences, whatever you want. Um, everyone will get my ebook that has the conscious relating and co-regulation exercises in them. It's like a 22 page ebook and um, yeah, discounts, as I said, on the further six week um, private coaching, which I'm really excited to offer because I know that um, so many people have wanted to do the 12 week and you know, haven't been able to. And so I'm also including, and this was like, I gotta throw this in there because I, I really wanna just um, be able to meet with each of you and, and offer what I can for this walk of conscious union. Um, everyone who involves, who enrolls on, um, this journey on the 220 journey will get one private session per couple with me and you can use that in the second half um, after you've already developed some of the skills so um i included these testimonials because these are just so amazing uh, to hear from the deep dive experiences that um different couples have had uh, with me and you know the they speak to the safe space that I hold and it is a high bar that I set but it's a very very caring container so you can read these if you are interested yes I'm very passionate very engaged rational and intuitive masculine and feminine right um, bringing all I know both personal experience professional study um, into these programs that I create and innovate for you all so thank you so much for the opportunity to do that. So um, here are the enrollment specials and you get there through the links on my website, um, but it's actually housed on Teachable. So it'll take you over to Teachable. So one payment, um, the price is going to be when it lives on Teachable, when anybody can access it without the bonuses, it's gonna be 1333 for the course of the self-paced course, but this time only before February 19th, it's 997, I'm sorry, 977 with the code CONSCIOUS2020. So that's a savings of $336 and you get all of those enrollment bonuses for this kickoff. Um, and then if you wanna separate that into two payments, you can save $244 total when you use the code CONSCIOUS555 and then it's uh, two payments of $555, okay? So I really just, you know, talk to me if you want to schedule a call. Um, you can do so on my website, sarahpoet.com. And um, if you have any additional questions or about any of it, I'm happy to answer your questions. I really want to make myself available in this first um, go round um, as I'm putting all of these videos and resources out there. And yeah, we'll take it week by week. And I really believe that you can establish some foundation. So if this is for you, you will have answered yes, or probably to a lot of those uh, questions that I asked you. And, you know, you will also um, be willing to dive deep for those six weeks and really come without, I don't know, just come, come with like a clean slate, you know, come with an open mind, with a curiosity. Um, if you are in a really tense situation in your relationship and, you know, I wanna know about that. I wanna know where you are when you're starting. But if you're like, okay, this might be make it or break a time and we're gonna, try these skills. We might work with Sarah. We've been thinking about it. You know, like, let's just do this and see what happens. I really, really, really applaud that. Um, if you do not think that you will be able to track with the weekly um, coursework, watching the videos and making that a priority for six weeks, it's probably not for you, quite honestly. I mean, you're enrolling in a coaching program when you enroll in these. I mean, that's why the <laughs> prices are a little bit higher because it's actually transformative work. It actually works. So if you just want to like pick up a book and like maybe read it at, for 20 bucks at the bookstore, like yay, do it. If you want an interactive program with the energetics and skills and feedback to change your life and change your relationship and really build these foundations, then this is for you. So I am going to be sending an email to you on Thursday with this replay and the enroll, enrollment uh, codes will be in there as well. And it closes the opportunity for these codes 
close on 219 at midnight. So you can even sign up last minute because while we're traveling as a group, remember like you don't have to share with a group because you're, you are all doing it at your own pace throughout the week and teachable. I'm just releasing one week at a time. Okay. So that it's self paced over six weeks. Okay. Thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you for caring about your relationship. Thank you for caring about the evolution of relationships because it's the evolution of our world. I believe this. I know this. So, um, my email is here. If you have any questions, um, you can also visit sarahpoet.com and find multiple ways to get in touch with me there. So thank you so, so much and reach out and be blessed.